Our car tester, Reinhold Deisenhofer, says the VW Turan is popular with families, but the car maker makes lots of cars in the class, including the Golf Sports Van, the Golf Variant, the Caddy, and the Chiron. Then there's the Passat and the Passat Utility Wagon. Other manufacturers offer similar models, so Reinhold asks, why do people buy Turans? Because they're practical and flexible. The new Turan is even more flexible than its predecessor. That's due mostly to the fact that for this second edition of the car, VW has not only updated the design, but also made big technical improvements in its production. The Turan is based on a modular transverse matrix platform that allowed designers to add 11 centimeters to the wheelbase and makes the car 13 centimeters bigger overall. The five-seater model, for example, now has 1,980 liters of cargo space. Einhold points out that the tailgate is a lot easier to open, and you can fold down the seven seats to make even more room, turning a compact family van into a transport vehicle. This is not time-lapse photography. It really does happen that fast. You don't have to remove the seats to create all that storage space. Einhold recommends that buyers choose the fold-down passenger seat option. That will allow you to load items that are up to 2.7 meters long. As far as handling is concerned, when you're driving a Turan, you feel like you're in a Golf. Many of the basic components are the same. For example, the steering is just as precise and the gearbox just as responsive. And with its dynamic chassis control, you can choose from a variety of tuning options. The interior looks familiar, but VW's designers have added other features that they hope will increase sales. By the way, nearly two million Turans have been sold so far. Heinold says the car features the latest in connectivity. You can call up a number of apps like the Map app and skip the built-in navigation system. That'll save you a 350 euro extra. But you can't get a GPS signal when you're in a tunnel. The navigation system reads data from wheel sensors, he says, and they tell you how far you've gone. So the GPS can tell you to turn right even though there's no signal. An app can't do that. And there's another feature that's designed to help when you're trying to maneuver a trailer. Einhold points out that pulling a trailer around is never easy, but trying to park a car and trailer is just about impossible unless you've got a lot of experience. The Turan features an option called Trailer Assist, and Reinhold's going to test it for us today. There's some acceleration and braking involved. The Trailer Assist reads the settings in the mirror and automatically makes sure the trailer is moving in the right direction. A camera monitors the tow bar but the driver still has to keep an eye on things. Einhold says the trailer assist really does make parking much easier, although it takes some practice and coordination. Once you get used to the system, though, it works fine. The Turan is currently available with a power output of either 81 or 110 kilowatts. We tested the 110 kilowatt stick shift model. The engine came equipped with the Highline package of options. That brought the price of our five passenger vehicle in Germany to just under 33 and a half thousand euros. The six passenger model costs several hundred more. Reinhold says the new Turan is bigger and more practical than previous versions, and it's chock full of new features. In the trunk, for example, there is an electrical outlet, as well as a detachable flashlight with a magnetic strip. That makes searching at night easier. And there are over 40 storage options, although that could be a headache when you can't remember where you put something.